Uh, before installing FM Studio itself, we are going to need to make sure that a couple of requirements are satisfied and are in order. First of all, you're going to need Dreamweaver to run FM Studio. FM Studio Pro requires Dreamweaver 8, Dreamweaver CS3, CS4, or CS5. Older versions, such as MX and MX2004, are not supported anymore. FM Studio, or any kind of FileMaker web publishing, also requires your database to be hosted on a FileMaker server. Now, there is no way to get, F to get web publishing going without using a FileMaker server. And this means that if you simply have FileMaker Pro or FileMaker Pro Advanced, you're going to have to either install FileMaker server yourself and manage it, or use a hosting company. We highly recommend using FM Gateway for FM Studio hosting. FM Gateway is optimized to work with FM Studio and is run by the experts in FileMaker web publishing. Other hosting companies will be able to run FM Studio sites just as well, as long as they're FileMaker hosting companies. Right, so now that we have these requirements in order, you're also going to need a web server to run your websites. This web server needs to run PHP, and on the Mac, it is known as the Apache Web Server, and on Windows, it is known as IIS. Um, either, either web server can be used as long as it has PHP installed. Uh, keep in mind that if you are using a FileMaker hosting service, all of this will already be installed for you, and you don't have to worry about it. Now let's talk about installing FM Studio itself. FM Studio is a Dreamweaver module. This means that it is installed as a Dreamweaver extension using the extension manager. To find the extension manager, open your correct version of Dreamweaver. In here I have Dreamweaver CS5 open. And go to the help menu and choose manage extensions. On some older versions of Dreamweaver, you might find this option under the window menu. Now you are here in the extensions manager. And this is where you install the FM Studio Dreamweaver extension. You would use the install button to find the extension file. However, before doing that, let's open up the Dreamweaver extension. In here I have my FM Studio folder, and under the install directory, I have a zip file. This is how FM Studio is delivered for a Windows customer. On the Mac, you have a very standard disk image, and it's even easier. On Windows, you have a zip file, so just double click into it and choose Extract All Files. Now, FM Studio is password protected, and the password is inside of the purchase email that you have. So let's enter the password, click OK, and it extracts and opens up the files. Now we are going to find the extracted files, they are right here, and you will find an FM Studio Pro MXP file. It might be named a bit differently depending on the version that you have. Now you can either double click this file or use the install option in the extensions manager. I will double click this file. Now, as you see, the extensions manager is activated and the extension is being installed. Now that's installed, there's one extremely, extremely important note. And that is, you must, must restart Dreamweaver in order for the extension to take effect. So let's go ahead and close Dreamweaver here. And we're going to start Dreamweaver once again. Now that Dreamweaver is reopened, let's verify that FM Studio is installed. Now, this is very simple. If you installed FM Studio correctly, in your copy of Dreamweaver, you will find an FM Studio Pro menu. 
Now, this is a very important menu, and you will find out more about it as you go along throughout this manual and these tutorial videos. Um, however, in some cases, if you have used FM Studio before, you will have two menus here. You will have an FM Studio menu and an FM Studio Pro menu. This is not an error. This just simply means that you have the old FM Studio installed and the new FM Studio installed. When using FM Studio Pro, just use the FM Studio Pro menu, and if you're still working with your old sites, use the old FM Studio menu. They're not conflicting, and it's safe to leave both of them. And uh, one other very, very important note is that if you are upgrading from previous versions of uh, FM Studio and you want to uninstall the old FM Studio files, then please make sure that you fully, fully uninstall it before installing the FM Studio Pro extensions. And also, do not ever use the Disable option in the Extensions Manager. That would break both installations of FM Studio. If you want to uninstall, we highly recommend uninstalling both FM Studio extensions and only then installing one of them. But do not ever disable an extension. All right. So now that you have installed the FM Studio Pro extensions, you made sure that you're running a compatible version of Dreamweaver and you have your FileMaker database hosted on a FileMaker server, such as your own server, FM Gateway hosting, or any other hosting, and that you have access to a PHP server, it's time to go ahead and get into the real fun stuff of web publishing with FileMaker on the web using FM Studio Pro.